The Tommy Rivers Pusey story was first brought to my attention in the summer of 2020, earlier this year. Tommy is an ultra runner, a sub-220 marathoner, just a beast of an athlete. He's a family man, and currently, he's in the middle of the biggest battle of his life. Most of the people who probably watch this channel are runners anyway and may have seen this news recently. He's currently in the hospital. Uh, he's been in the hospital for most of July. The, the recent news, the most recent news that I have found, uh, he has, um, they found some tumors in his lungs. As you can imagine, the diagnosis is, has been devastating for Tommy and his family especially given that he's a professional runner, and this is how he makes his living. Hey guys, another beautiful, beautiful day in the canyon. So it's Monday morning, almost afternoon. Maybe it's afternoon, but it started to rain over the northern. It's summer down the bottom, starting to turn autumn. This is one of those situations that just doesn't make sense. Tommy Rivers is a guy who takes incredibly good care of his body. He's a competitive athlete, focused on physical fitness and overall health. And he's a family man with young children. And now he's fighting for his life when he should be spending it with them. I missed, uh, man, I miss my girls a lot. Um, I, uh, I still haven't, um, still haven't been able to hug them, and it's been, uh, it's been about five weeks, and, um, that's a hard thing to explain to a little kid that, um, that they're not in trouble, um, and that, you know, daddy's not withholding affection or love because they've done something wrong, um, it's because the stuff is heavy, and, uh, and I don't didn't want to get these girls sick and uh Tommy and his family have been fairly private about the situation but we do know that things are getting worse a GoFundMe has been set up that is halfway to the million dollar goal which sounds like a lot but given the direction that things are heading it's actually not based on what's been posted on his account and on his wife's account we can guess that things are getting more difficult for both Tommy and his family. So we know that in 2020, times are tough for everyone. But if you have a following, please share this story with them. If you have a little bit of extra cash lying around, please donate if you're able. His vid he's a sub 220 marathoner. Like I've been looking through like his stuff since he brought this story to my attention. I've been like getting more acquainted, not only with the story, but Tommy Rivers, and he's like a beast. Yeah, in my opinion, he's one of the most fit guys, fit runners around. Like he, he does trail races, and I mean, he does everything. But and, he is. <laughs> and I know this is a stupid, stupid idea to have, but I have always thought like, I've always wondered like, oh, what would happen to me if I got sick? or cancer or whatever in my own stupid scenario that I play in my head I'm always like well I'm really fit I could beat it but then you read something like that from a guy that's like so much more fit probably than I'll ever be it makes me feel really helpless not only from the perspective of like I realize like if this ever happened to me like there's no like it would be Uh, there's like not even words. Yeah, it's just it's so hard to imagine where he is with somebody like Chris is saying, somebody who's so fit, healthy guy. He's a physical therapist too. Like he knows his stuff. He takes care of his body, and this happens to him that's out of his control, and it just it makes me think too. Like oh geez, like this could really happen to anybody. Anybody, and, yeah. And it does. It happens to anybody. And it's, it's just a sad thing that's in this world. And um, that's why I mean, we, we kind of want to talk about an idea that we have. Yeah, 
so basically what we want to do and what I wish I wish we could do it right now um, we were talking and I just was like I wish that our channel was monetized so, or something so that we could do something about it and it's not we're teeny tiny there's less than a hundred of you right now but we decided that like we're in we're in this channel for the long haul like better or for worse we'll be here in a year we'll be here in two if we still have a hundred subscribers in two years then maybe we'll <laughs> maybe we'll call it quits <laughs> but what we wanted to do this year was sort of set the precedent and tell you that our commitment like our idea is that um, like I said we can't do it this year because we we don't have we don't have any following but next year assuming we're monetized and we have money coming in what we're gonna do every single year is whatever revenue is generated through the channel in the month of November in the month of December we're gonna take that and find athletes like Tommy Rivers or um, I mean it doesn't even have to be athletes just people that are in a similar situation we're just gonna use that money put it into a fund and then distribute it to people to pay their medical bills to help their family out during the holidays like whatever because Tommy Rivers a million dollars sounds like a lot medical bills go up real quick super fast somebody recently told me who um, somebody I know had had cancer and when he was on chemotherapy I was told I, I hope I get this right I think it was two hundred thousand dollars for one bag Wow and, and like there I can't remember how many that he has but I mean, he had, it would have been a couple million dollars at least with his treatment. And everybody's different, but gives you an idea. Whatever you can do to bring attention to Tommy Rivers in a situation, please share his story. His family needs support, he needs support, and um, the situation deteriorated really quickly. You know, I don't know, maybe in a year we have 10, 20, 30,000 subscribers and some cash flow coming in. So that's kind of what we are going to do. Um, and for those hundred of you who have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, we're, we're going to name this or do, well, we don't know what we're going to name it, but basically this fund, like this whole thing, this tradition that we're going to do is inspired by Tommy Rivers. We're doing it in his honor every single year. And, um, you know, the, the prayer is and the hope is that he is around every year that we, you know, we can shout out to, hey, Tommy Rivers, you inspired us to do this. And we're hoping for a, a healthy and full recovery for him, as everybody else is. Yep. So please spread the word like we've mentioned before, either whether that's sharing this video, like Chris said, making your own, posting, whatever it takes, because he's in this situation, he's fighting for his life. There are others fighting for their lives that we obviously haven't mentioned and talked about, but there's so many people out there and we would love to help and encourage you guys to help as well. So yeah, this November we're turning to our small audience, do what you can. Next year we're hoping that we can pull, pull our own weight and I guess we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Stride. See ya.